Now let us discuss about uh, the another variant uh, of these hemangioma which is the cavernous hemangiomas. So these cavernous hemangiomas are composed of a large dilated vascular channels. You need to remember this particular sentence for the this type of neoplasm. Large dilated vascular channels is dedicated for those. And when you compare this with the capillary hemangiomas, these cavernous hemangiomas are more infiltrative and frequently involve deeper structures rather than subcutaneous structures. This is the clear cut differentiation. And wherever these lesions are identified, there they may be locally destructive and they do not regress like what we already discussed previous cases. That is the reason surgical excision may be required in approximately 50% of the cases. Now, examination point of view, if we discuss about this one, what are the most common organs involved? Skin as well as liver, both has an equal predominance. So, skin as well as liver are the most common organs and occasionally brain can also be involved in this case. And when we discuss about the histological examination, under histological examination, the mass is sharply defined but again unencapsulated. And this histological section reveals where we can clearly see it is composed of a large cavernous blood filled vascular spaces which are separated by the connective tissue stroma. Because I am saying that we can identify blood filled vascular spaces. One can clearly identify there will be an intravascular thrombosis which is associated with the dystrophic calcification which is most commonly seen. And more often these tumors are of little clinical significance but remember they are cosmetically troublesome and are vulnerable through the traumatic ulcerations as well as bleeding. These are the complications related to these neoplasms. And these cavernous hemangiomas constitute one of the component of von heppel lindau disease in which the vascular lesions are commonly found in the cerebellum, brainstem, retina, pancreas as well as liver. These are the anatomical locations where they are one of the variant of von heppel lindau So this is what is about uh, the hemangiomas.